Go, go, go. Had to pull out the GoPro for the beautiful sun rise we have here. And such a fun downhill with a beautiful sunrise. This little place is actually on the map. Same comes. <laughs> it's an interesting sign. Yeah, we're good. See there's a little deer or a little fox down here running on the road. Probably too far to see from the GoPro, but unique wildlife for sure. The landscape's changed a lot. We have a new cactus that's like purpley everywhere. It sticks up in clumps. We came into this town, Janisburg, right? And, Sounds right, Jan. Um, yeah, we see a lot of teams here. So it's almost like a TA and there's, I don't know, lots of teams. It seems like right in our same boat. And there was hot food, ice cream. It was awesome. So, so good. And here we go. It's really hot. So kind of dreading going, but we got to get this leg done. Three more maps of 150,000 no. scale right now five and a half maps but we don't use most of each of the maps right it's like i think we're down to like 50k right something like that that sounds right all right we've got some pretty wildflowers here growing on the side of the side of the road both sides really pretty environment lots of color Right now it's 159 on Tuesday, I believe. And we're not too far from the TA actually. We're getting close to ending this bike leg. Long bike leg. I think we got 20K left out of 225. All right, we're coming into a little town called Mount Stewart. We have to go to a church on the other side of some railroad tracks. This is CP50. Hey guys. Around 3:11 on Tuesday, and this has been a long bike ride, but overall pretty fun. The roads were just rolling hills. Is that it? We can go in. Being in church, it'd be fun to sleep in there. CP. We're biking through a mountain pass. Got a beautiful river down here to our left. It's hard to see it right now. There we go. It's been a beautiful day. All right, we're coming out of one of the passes. This is our view. Nice big downhill. Over there is unbelievable. Big squiggle of rock. Wow. And every time you come through a canyon. That is unbelievable. It just keeps going on. It's like all the way down the mountainside. What a welcome. Here. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what he what smells what like? <laughs> you day. get everybody gets the lunch. Here.
Oh, good. So I so have We're having fun. Really there's also Canyon section has been canceled. Okay. So there's two points that you're not going to get. They're crossed out on the map. They're crossed out on your passport. So everybody understands you're not going off the canyon. How much time does that cut off this section? I have no idea because I'm not a navigator Wait, and up? I do is it not cut off. Cut off. Like it, what how, how much time they're saving? Oh, oh, when I they're see. saving yeah. from it. Once you see it on the map and the altitude and the figure it out. Yeah. Whatever you guys do, you'll be yeah. able to tell because I can. So we uh, took an hour sleep or so, maybe an hour and a half sleep at TA. And we headed out on the monster trek section. Not the monster, this, I think it's 24 hours. It was pretty monster. It is supposed to be technical and difficult. Seems like Stefan made this course slowly get harder. And we can tell by the way he's hiding checkpoints and things in the later stages. Now the funny thing is, or not so funny, maybe one of these days we'll look back and laugh, hopefully soon, but our team has done really good on navigation this race, other than when leaving the TA. We got whacked going from the TA over to the paddle section, got wandered around there in the easiest of terrains. And then this time, even though we were trying to be super focused, knowing we made the earlier decision, of course, we come out of TA and make two back-to-back -back decisions. Because we were just having fun chatting, we had heard about all kinds of teams, some did well, some didn't, some people dropped, all kinds of stories, and we were sharing with each other all these fun stories, and just walking down a road blindly, not looking at the maps, and sure enough, it was the wrong road. So we walked back, it cost us an hour and a half, that kind of sucks. But either way, now we're back on, we're all feeling sleepy, Andre's a zombie, <laughs> so, she turned over the maps to Caitlin, and uh, Caitlin and I are trying to be surgical and measure everything, be smart, and we're gonna leave dumb back at the TV, how we call it, and uh, hopefully we can clear this 24-hour trek um, cleanly and uh, not waste any more time. So that's the update. It's uh, 12:41 a.m. We are going to look to bed down, hopefully somewhere around 1.30, get a little bit more sleep.